for, for those who think that uh, the identity of those uh, Boko Haram or suspected ones, as you say, be disclosed, because some of them may think if they might have had a dealing or two with some of those, would it be a good idea to actually let the country know the identity of those who were released to Boko Haram? Well, uh, our sense is that I think people should uh, balance this release against the gains that we have made. Uh, it two innocent girls uh, set free. Uh, th there must be some risk somewhere, but uh, uh, consider what the Minister of Information was saying yesterday, that uh, the Israeli government, nobody can be more fastidious dealing with the terrorists than Israel. They set free more than 2,000 Palestinian, suspected Palestinian terrorists against the body of one um, uh, Israeli army, somebody who had even died. So therefore, you must weigh the, on balance the opportunities. And the thing is, uh, if I should tell you that there are harmless uh, uh, five that were, were set free, when they go back to the, their own community, they will also be tested. Will they be trusted on their return? In fact, if care is not taken, some, some might even assume that there are spies that are coming to them. So there are risks on both sides. And, uh, but uh, there, there are international practices. These are international practices that uh, have happened elsewhere, and, and they were not doing something others have not done before. Can you tell us uh, how many more girls do we expect to be released? No, at this time, no. I, I don't have any idea. Uh, uh, thank God the one we mentioned, 83, then uh, if we were, at some point people were ridiculing us. We are happy that uh, we are here now. 83 negotiated fully uh, to come back. One said, no, I found a husband. I'm happy where I am. And uh, 82 came back. Well, I know you also have heard uh, questions along this line where uh, journalists are not allowed to interview some of the girls at that time. What's your view about that? I have no uh, problem with that because I, I, I have a sense that the most important thing for the country is these girls must be of security interest in the first instance. Who knows among them, maybe some of them may have returned radicalized. And uh, releasing them, you know, to the mainstream might pose a danger itself to the society. I, I think that the security services should be allowed to do their work. Let them debrief all of them, and if there is a need to, let let them do check them as to their health statuses, their psychological uh, well-being, and all of that. And if they are fit enough to be members of society like all ourselves, like ourselves. Uh, they can be put before journalists and they can, in any case, on the same night they met the president. Uh, one of the girls uh, was, uh, was uh, presented to some journalists and they spoke to her. You know, about uh, it, previously, about the same matter, we used to hear the Chadian president speak up in, at some point. What level of cooperation that Nigeria has with uh, not just Chad but countries along that basin? Well, what uh, will say this uh, better than the fact that we have a multinational joint task force uh, that, is, that uh, has been set up nearly eight to 10,000 uh, men under arms and uh, conducting operations uh, separately and jointly with the permission to cross uh, uh, border lines across uh, the region. So uh, I, I think that uh, it is the best that we can have in the circumstance. Okay, let, let me uh, ask you something different from, from what's going on about Boko Haram. Uh, the president has traveled now, and uh, we hope that he gets back here and healthy. Could you tell us, because previously, you know, there was this conversation that whenever we sought information, it was always from a third party. Is that going to be the same, or you will eventually go to London and relay information to us? No, I, I don't wish myself to go. I hope that the president has the privacy that he needs, and then uh, he's, uh, he'll be to his doctors and, uh, and that he regains his health. But uh, uh, we will continue to rely on third parties as, from my own point of view. What about the 2017 budget? Okay.
Sorry, you have to ask that question again. Uh, I was just wondering, uh, the budget, many are looking forward to that coming to, uh, back to the executive being passed. What was the thinking in government now since it's not been passed yet? Well, everyone is anxious for it. If you ask me, I and Femi, our department, is anxious for the budget. Since we came into office, we've never been in this country's budget. Possibly 2017, we might be there. Those who worked in the office before us, they will just go to Office of National Security Advisor and collect Ghana must go. The President uh, Buhari said, no, that won't happen under me. And so therefore, it's uh, hard to get anything done now. So we're anxious for the budget. Are you accusing the lawmakers of corruption? No, I'm saying that those who were in the office that we had uh, taken over from, they, they did not go through the appropriation to get money. Because the National Security Office was authorized by past presidents to fund them. In the case of Buhari, he says no. He can't take money from there. So, for the first time, we're go hopefully... To fund who, precisely? Right, by media operations. We don't... I could have, can I buy advertising space now? I can't buy it because I don't have the budget for it. Can I engage the media on tour, on project inspection? I can't because I, I, I never had the appropriation for it. Possibly this year we could, and, and that's uh, exciting for us. In the media office? Oh, sure. Okay, now just quickly, people are a little concerned about the report of the uh, vice president, who is now the acting president, and they're wondering, since he was supposed to submit it to the president, uh, is he going to submit it to himself now that he's acting president? They're wondering how that is going to work out, especially now that he's the acting president. Do you have any information on that? I think that's a problem for Laulu Akandi, but uh, <laughs> from yesterday, he's a different person. Okay. The day before yesterday, he was vice president. You said yourself yesterday. He's, uh... So, in other words, we should ask the uh, Mr. Laulua Konde, who might have more information on yes, what might happen with the report. Yes, that is correct. Well, we have to say thank you very much then for coming uh, on Sunrise Daily, Mr. Garba Shehu. He is the senior special assistant to the president on media and publicity.